Hi, in this video we're going to do a proof. So let x be an element in the set of integers. We have to prove that if 5x minus 7 is odd, then x is even. So before we do this problem, you really have to know what it means for an integer to be even or odd. So recall, we say that x is even. This basically means that x is a multiple of 2. So x equals 2k for some k and z. And x is odd. This is equivalent to saying x equals 2k plus 1 for some k and z. This z is the set of integers, and this symbol means is in, belongs to. Okay. So now we're ready to do the proof. Um, so we have to prove that if this is true, then this is true. So I think it's gonna be easier to prove the contrapositive, which basically means if this is not true, then this is not true. So let's do that. So we're gonna prove the contrapositive. So we'll suppose that x is odd. Suppose x is odd. And we have to show that this is even, so it's the opposite. So that's our goal, to show that this is even. It's called contrapositive, proof by contrapositive. So because it's odd, we know something. We know this is true. So let me write that down. So this means x equals 2k plus 1 for some k and z. That's what it means um, for x to be odd. Now we have to show 5x minus 7 is even. So we just look at it. And we basically make a substitution with what we have. And let's see if it works. So this is 5. x is 2k plus 1. I have not done this problem yet. Okay. 5 times 2k is 10k. 5 times 1 is 5. Minus 7. It's 10k minus 2. And we're trying to show it's even, so we're trying to show it's a multiple of 2. So we can pull out a 2 now. So we get 5k minus 1. So this is an integer, so we should say that. So where 5k minus 1 is an integer because it's a product and difference of integers, so it's an integer. So we showed that 5x minus 7 is even. This completes the proof. Again, we gave a proof by contrapositive. Our original statement was if this is odd, then this is even. So to prove the contrapositive, we assume this is odd, and then we show this is even. We assumed it's odd. We wrote down what it means for an integer to be odd. And then we looked at this and we basically plugged in the x and we showed it was a multiple of two. That's exactly what it means to be even. And so we're done. I probably could have said something here. Like this shows 5x minus 7 is even. And that completes the proof. I mean, it's a little bit better to say that at the end there a little bit more. I hope this has been helpful. Good luck.